Welcome everybody. Very special event here. We've got a live car boot pickups. Um, so uh, I tried this last week and actually the camera corrupted. So fingers crossed that we get some nice stuff. It's starting to rain. Um, don't hope that'll stop. Uh, I've already been to one. It was too dark to actually uh, film there. But I did get a few things obviously. Uh, it's only a little one. Uh, but I thought I'd just quickly show you them before I um, forget about them. And uh, hopefully we get something at the next one. I can actually film that. But uh, right, so first off, um, literally as soon as I walked into the car boot, I saw this. It's a red 3DS. It's the original uh, model. Uh, I believe it turns on. Yeah, it turns on. Seems all right. Uh, she wanted 20 for it. I think it's missing the stylus. I'm not sure. It's in the bag somewhere. Oh my god, it's in there actually. Here we go. There's a stylus. I'll put that away in there. Uh, it's actually snapped off, but they might it might be all right. <laughs> With discounted rate of CX, I think it's about. Don't know. We'll tell you in the corner. So that was that. And then the games. And there's a lot of games, but they're all trash pretty much, apart from two. Uh, there could be some money in these. I don't know, but uh. We've got Kim Impossible, My Pets Hotel, absolute trash, uh, Imagine Babies, uh, Math Training, Brain Training, more Brain Training, Sight Training, someone likes the Brain, another Brain Training game, Bratz Diamonds, uh, High School Musical, uh, Cartoon Network Racer, hmm. That might have some value in it, I'm not sure. I'm sure it'll tell you in the corner if I took it to CX or not. Um, and the last two, um, Horrible Henry, it's about a fiver. And Sonic Generations, that's, that's £10 right there. Um, and then obviously the DS, I think, is about £40 discounted. But we'll see about the stylus, they might say no to it. Uh, there was a chap looking for some games, I think he picked out most of the best ones. I picked this out, Outrun 2. This is really nice condition. Uh, all there, but I don't think they've even used it. Uh, quid. I wasn't sure if I had it. It's not the rare one. I think that's 2006 or something. Outrun 2006. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, so I'll probably see how I'll have to see if I got that or not. And then the last thing I picked up, a uh, woman had some 360 games. She had. I picked up. She said 50p each, so you know, not bad. She had Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, no disc in it. I had the installation disc, but no thingy. Uh, but I did get Black Ops 2. Even, even got the original receipt in it. It's faded so much I can't read it. But uh, yeah, 50p for that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep that though, because I do have it... Um, I sold mine when they made it backwards compatible for like 14 quid. So I've got it back in the collection. So that's that. That's the first car boot. Uh, should hopefully have some actual footage of me picking some stuff up, unless I find nothing. That that could be the possibility. Maybe I'll find nothing, and then um, this video won't even exist because I won't even make it. But um, yeah, so yeah, let's let's go. Let's see what we can find. Goodbye. <laughs> How much PS3 games, mate? Two uh, quid each. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. 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 First thing I grabbed from this car boot, copy of Dark Souls for the PS3 there. Uh, two quid, get seven quid at CX, so not a bad 
little pick up there. Chap had a couple other bits, some Xbox controllers, some other games, nothing really took my fancy. Uh, oh, a quid on them. Is that a quid as well, then, that yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. So next up, got myself a copy of Bully for the Xbox 360. Um, cost me a quid, the seven pounds trading at CX again. So pretty good on that. That's just the controller. On your Chromecast. Yeah. Um, how much is it? Um, Seventeen. Sorry. Seventeen. How much do they go for normally? Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Five pounds. Grabbed a 360 controller from this stall for a pound. Get a whopping £10 trading on these still. Um, also had a Chromecast I was looking at, but I think she wanted 17 so it's a bit too pricey for me. I'm a cheapskate after all. Thought I'd found something good here. Bag of Xbox 360 games. Uh, some alright titles, but turns out they're all copies, so no use to me. Chap here selling an original Game Boy, wanted 35 for it, I think that was about four games in there as well. Um, not for me, but uh, not a terrible price if you're after one, I suppose. Couple of 360 tiles off this lady here. Uh, Black Ops 2 again, uh, Modern Warfare 3, and Red Dead Redemption. Some all right credit in these ones, and for a pound each, can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. How much are the games? Um, I think it was one pound fifty. Okay. One pound fifty, right now. No one of them. No, no. no. Yeah. yeah. Fifty p each. Okay. Just that one, really. That's all I wanted. Oh, you want? Yeah. Yeah, fifty p. Yeah. You got um. Oh, on that one. Please. Two more games here, Mortal Kombat and Dishonored Game the Edition. Uh, 50p, not going to leave them there. Uh, was a GTA 5 steelbook there, no game in it though, so I just left that. I sit here and watch. Okay, oh, well done, you! That's brilliant, well done. What is that, man? How much are the games? Two pounds. Okay. Well done, you. I've had stuff go before. I got you a chair. Oh, you can see yourself in the car. Oh, God. Look at your face, is it all? <laughs> Grabbed another 360 game here. Injustice, Game of the Year Edition. Thought there would have been more on it. Probably wasn't worth me picking it up. She had some other alright games, but nothing for me. How much PS4 games? They all work. How much PS4 games, mate? 
Picked up two PS4 games here, pound each, crazy price, um, and some good trading value on these as well. I was debating Call of Duty and Watch Dogs, but turns out they weren't worth much, so good job I didn't pick them up. Pound. Say three for a pound. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Right, Cheers. Man. Couple of DVD box sets here. Picked up two Angel ones, season four and five. It was free for a quid, so I just randomly grabbed another one. I think it was 30 rock. I got a penny at CX for that, so I didn't even bother adding it to the video. Yeah. Right, brace yourself for this one because this was an amazing, amazing find. I'm just going to let the video run now, uh, so it might take a while to get through. I'm not sure how much you're going to see. How much is your Game Boy? I don't know if it's got any charges or right. anything yet. I don't, it depends with batteries, I think, so it's oh, not. Oh, does it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, either. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, Thank it's you. still game, actually. I like your game, sorry. Your GameCube controller there. That one? <laughs> yeah. And that's a Nintendo one. Oh, yeah. How much wants the controller? Okay. How much is the DS game? <laughs> oh, there's no game in that one. No game in that one. Is that the game? What's it? No, that's a DS. This is a Game Boy Advance game. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, that's a memory card. For PlayStation. I think I might should have gone through this box for us. Oh, right. Well, I'd like to have a look at that controller. Yeah, there's a back to that. Oh, right, yeah, thank you. Which one do you want? Uh, the, that one. The green one? Yeah. So that's the games for that. Right, okay. Oh, that's for an S. Yeah, that's Game Boy stuff as well, yeah. Is it? Yeah. What do you want for the Game Boy stuff with the games? That and that? Yeah. Um. No, no, I think Yeah. He said three on that. Yeah. Okay. Are these to do with it? Uh, so, yeah, I think you put, then they're just empty. Yeah, you know. Yeah, them. okay. Oh, is that a speaker? <laughs> I think it's with the Game Boy stuff again. Oh, do you know, just stick it all in together. Oh, here's a 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's another Game Boy. Yeah, it's an old one, isn't yeah. it? That's another one. That's got a game in it. Yeah. Alright, so look at that one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. I think that was about it. Yeah, that's the only thing that I was just thinking. Yeah. Not one of these cases. Is that a lead for it? Uh, yeah, that's a link thing. These charges, are they anything? They <laughs> could be, yeah. Uh, I've got no idea. It's um, between my I'm not sure on that one. I don't think that is for. Could be anything. Just stuffing it all up now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's. I think that's it. Yeah. Sorry. It's alright. Place this in the card. Thank you. What are you doing? Yeah. So you said eight for that bit there, yeah. but then we found that one. Yeah. Uh, what That's you older than this. Yeah. Fiber. Five. And then that was that one. So it's not too interesting. Not too old about that one. Right, okay. So it's not got the charger for it. I don't know what the charger uh, looks like. <laughs> Let's do 20 for it all. Yeah, that's yeah. All right. And there you have it, 20 pounds for all that. Um, there was so many people behind me. You could say the vultures were circling above me. And I just thought, I've got to get the hell out of here quick with this stuff. So I said 20, she accepted. Um, they didn't look too anything too exciting from the video, but that, box, uh, that case full of games, there were some really, really nice games in there. So for 20 quid, probably bargain of the year, definitely. And I'll actually just go through them games later on in the video. That was Xbox games. Uh, what? Yeah, found each. Found each. Found each. Yeah. 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 Copy of Sims 3 here for the Xbox 360. Still good money in this one. And uh, thank you for 2 uk for lending me the pound, because I actually left my change on the push chair. Uh, what a legend. Thank you very much. How much is the phone? Um, so the last find here, excellent find. Um, it's an iPhone 5C. Um, she said it was locked to EE, but um, actually it was unlocked completely. Um, I'm always a bit wary about phones. Uh, because especially Apple stuff, because it could have could be activation locked to a certain account, and if you don't get the password, you ain't getting shit off that phone. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, am I yeah. Is it five C? Is it? Yeah. You said it was locked to EE. Is it? Yeah. Got the charger with it, or is it no charger? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah. They say ten, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So there you have it. That was the last pickup. Not bad for a morning's work. One hundred ninety-seven pounds and eighty p on a CX voucher, and um, and all for sixty-five quid. So I'm going to quickly show you the uh, Game Boy games and then I'll just show you uh, what it comes to the X with my voucher. How's it going everyone? So, if you're wondering what games I got in that Game Boy Advance slot, well, wonder no more, because here they are. Just here. I'm just going to quickly go through them. Um, Yoshi's Island 3, that was uh, in the actual back of the DS, one of the DS's, I think. Uh, a wireless adapter, that's actually not a game, obviously. Pokemon Blue, Rugrats the movie, Super Mario Land 2, 
You probably saw that one in the video, I think. Super Mario 1. Uh, these are all in cases. Probably should have took these out before, but... Uh, Super Mario Advanced. Doom. Pokemon Sapphire. Pokemon Emerald, that was the one in the back of the purple GBA in the video. Pokemon Ruby. Pokemon Fire Red, I assume that's what goes with the wireless adapter actually. Um, Tomb Raider. Curse of the Sword, is it? Yep. Pokemon Gold. And the last one, yeah, last two, Tony Hawk's Underground and Micro Machines. So a pretty good haul there, you'd say, for 20 quid. And obviously you probably saw the controllers and all the other stuff I got with it. So there you go. Away. So there. Thank you for watching. And now we will see what I put up on CX. Goodbye. that footage live live from the booter so i apologize if there's any footage where the cat my hoodie gets in the way uh, i don't really fancy walking around with the camera just strapped to me i sort of like to have the hoodie on so i can zip it up when i'm not uh filming anything um so it can get in the way it's normally when i bend down um so i should probably try and pull that down before i bend over but what are you gonna do but you can pretty much see the stuff i got so and some good stuff it was. As you can see, the total was, and I've written it down because I can't remember, £197 and 80p CX voucher. And all the stuff in the video cost me 65 quid. So I have to take in consideration I kept all the Game Boy stuff, all them controllers, none of that went to CX. Uh, so that was obviously 20 quid of that. Um, what else did I get? And then there was that Outrun game and the Black Ops game at the start of the video, which I also kept. They're only 150 so... So the voucher actually was, here, let me work this out, 45. So £43.50 was what I traded in to CX for 197 quid and 80. I'd probably say the phone, the iPhone was probably the best pickup there. Um, surprised it worked, but, well, I'm not saying surprised because I tried it when I was there, but I thought, if I'm going to get home, there's going to be something wrong with it, like the battery's not going to hold a charge or something, but no. Nope. CX took it, no problem. C grade, which I sort of expected, because uh, the the uh, the edge, the, the corners of it were all dented in pretty badly. So, but say no cracks to the screen or anything like that, or the glass. So yeah, so this stuff I bought from CX, I spent the whole voucher um, plus seventy pence on top, so one hundred and eight ninety eight pounds and fifty p. And we've got some really, really nice stuff. And it's all retro, I think. I'm looking around. It is. It is all retro. Uh, one online order, which... Oh, no, there's a few online orders. No, it's not. Sorry. I'll get confused now. Uh, one online order, which turned out to be a excellent deal. And I should have I should have opened some of these before I started showing... Before I'm going to show you, but too late now. So I show first. So, got some satin games. So there's a CX near me. Um, I don't know if it's because I am buying up, I buy up a lot of the Saturn stuff from there. But they seem to, when they get a new shipment come in, because they're sort of in a shopping centre, they tend to not get as much uh, trade fodder coming through the door from people. Um, so a lot of it gets brought in from other, normally the smaller CXs like the phone exchange ones and stuff, and they just ship it to there. And so all these came in. I think it was all these. Yeah. Now, a couple of these have gone down in price since I bought them. Bit of a bum one, but what are you going to do? So, first up, on the Saturn, we've got Clockwork Knight. Now, this is one, This is not an expensive game. I think this was £10, but all there, lovely condition. Can't complain. It's got a sticker on the back there. I'll tr I might try and get that off. Spinage is good. Which is normally where these cases are go first along the edges there. So ten quid, not bad. Um, here's another one, and this is not actually an official release. This is a uh, this was given away with 
I'm gonna, I want to say the uh, Sega Saturn official magazine. I could be wrong with that. But um, it's Christmas nights for the Sega Saturn. And this was £12. Um, it's just, I mean, there's nothing else I'm going to show you, really. There it is, 12 quid. Uh, good price. Mm, it's about the going rate. Uh, next up is another, obviously, another Saturn game. This is Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition. And this was £8 from CX. And yep, contents is mint. And I think I say this every time, uh, but it could do with a new case. It's got some dents in it there, which you wouldn't make out on the thing. There you go. Uh, there's a bit out of it there. Um, and I thought, when I started buying these, I thought, oh, it'll be easier to get, it'll be easy to get some of these replacement ones of these. I'll just buy some, a shit, some shitty football games and stuff. But you go to these conventions with the intention of picking up like some just replacement boxes and stuff. Um, and they're all like six, seven quid like for just a shit sports game. So not sure what I'm going to do. Eventually I'll source some replacement cases. So yeah, eight quid. Oh, no funny story about that. They had this in a, in my local phone exchange one. And I was a bit like, uh, I saw it and asked and opened it. And I was like, there's something wrong with this. And I sort of, I looked at it a bit longer. And I was like, it's not the championship edition. It had the championship edition case, but it was the the in internals were just for this your standard Daytona. So I was just like, okay. Uh, I was gonna say something over forty CX in it, so people be on the car, they won't give two fucks. So I'll just put it back on the shelf. Um, uh, next up for fifteen pounds is Croc Legend of the Gobbos, and this one again, condition wise in really nice condition the only thing which is is the case again it's got that wobble kicking off the old satin wobble see how that wobbled and on the front as well which i believe is from the inlay being cut too big for the case like ever so slightly so over time it's all you get a wobble effect um so yeah but yeah apart from that very nice condition and the last Saturn game we've got, let's double check, yeah. Um, this was 25 quid. Uh, it has dropped to 20 now, so, yeah. But it is Earthworm Gym 2. And more annoyingly, they've got another copy of this in stock in my local. I was like, fuck's sake. Um, but yeah. I can't complain about the insides. Sorry, the window's right there. And it's shining right on all this stuff. But yeah, there it is. Uh 25 was a little bit high, but they like say I was using voucher, so you sort of tend to, you're not too bothered about it. Uh, spinage is good though. Good spinage on that. That's, so that's them. So some alright titles there. Some, I'm not going to say mid range ones, but sort of uncommon. I don't know. I don't know. I'll quickly show this. Uh, this was £6. And I had the box and the uh, the manual and all the all the gubbins at home for this. I just needed the cartridge. I thought I'd bought it at some point, but obviously I hadn't. So I sort of just just took a risk at CX, bought it for six quid, and it is Super Mario Brothers, like the NES classic version, but just the cartridge. I've put it in the box now. Uh, they say it was nothing wrong with the cartridge. Uh, yeah, so six quid for that. I thought that was a pretty good price. Right, we're down to two Super Nintendo games and one Mega Drive game, which I'll get to in a minute. I'll leave that to last because I'm super happy about that. So a chap put on Facebook that his local shop had some SNES games in um, and they were unboxed price, but they came with a box. Uh, granted, the boxes are pretty fucked and the manual is also pretty fucked. But this particular game is not a cheap game. So I think it was 55 quid for just a just unbox price. Um, and then I think it was a hundred and I want to say 150 quid for just a boxed version. And you couldn't really tell from the picture how fucked the box was, but I mean it is pretty fucked. It's got tape all over it and stuff. But you know, it is there. The cartridge is fine. But the game in question is The Adventures of Batman and Robin, and as you can see. The tape there has actually dried up, which I suppose is a good thing if I want to try and get it off. 
but uh, yeah, it's sort of it's been crushed quite badly. But all, all the flappage is there, just say the box. And I reckon if you if I squash that out, it won't be too bad. And I'm just thinking of how to get this tape off without damaging the box. I'm sure someone could tell me in the comments section how to get the tape off. Um, so that's a box. A box is a box. So I'm thinking about getting some cardboard and sticking it on the inside. Um, there and there. I've done it before. Just to squash that in to keep it intact. Um, some people might be like, oh, don't do that to an original box, but the box is fucked already, so it's, yeah, we'll try and save it, not sure. Uh, the manual, unfortunately, I was hoping the manual would have been in good condition, but I can sort of understand why they went unboxed, it, but on the other hand, I suppose, yeah, as well with CX, there's only, the grading system is not the best, so... But anyway, here's the manual, and you're probably thinking, where's the front cover? Well, it did come with a front cover. I was hoping it'd be in the box, like, just so I could try and save it. But yeah, it's pretty fucked. Someone sellotapes it back together. Um, I was debating printing a a front, uh, a new front and back off, and sort of just putting it on and restapling it together. Obviously, stating it's a reproduction front, just so it looked a bit better. But then I was just like, ah, I can't be bothered with that. And then obviously the cartridge, which is actually very nice condition. So that was £55, but to get it from that particular store, I had to order something else from that store, which no other store had, which had a loose copy of this. Do you catch what I'm saying there? So I found this game. Um, nowhere else had this one, which also had Batman in stock. And... Um, just a, a Mega Drive game I didn't have. And it's Last Battle for Mega Drive. And, yeah, it's actually really nice condition. Uh, yeah, I think that was £4, but with uh, 150 postage on top. Obviously, Batman was free postage. Anything over 50 quid counts. So, yeah, just another one for the collection. And, uh, yeah, turned up in nice condition. Move all that away. Ready for the last thing, which... Uh, another thing I've noticed about CX recently is, and I've noticed some people actually saying this, that Super Nintendo stuff, uh, the prices on it has actually, they've actually dropped really quite a lot. And I, I sort of agree with them on that, because this was £62. Now, a couple of months ago, one in this condition was over 100 Not a CX, I'm not sure what the CX price has been. Uh, it's definitely been more than 62 quid, um, And it's one of those, I don't know if they've used if they use different cardboard to make these boxes originally uh, the boxes are always fucked on these it's really really difficult to find one in good condition I uh, saw this one I thought you know it's got a little bit of box wear to it um, but yeah overall very nice condition and it is the incredible secret of mana oh yes now this box is I'd say a good 8 out of 10 Say so I cannot complain at all about that. Um, bit of damage there, but like I said, I'm sure these boxes are made from different material because they they just deteriorate a lot quicker than like other boxes, or maybe because people like it was a popular game, so people just bought it and then over time it just got fucked basically. Um, cartridge, it's in its bag, in its little tray, and the manual. Again, it's got a little bit of been red slightly. I, I really cannot complain. It's one of the ones I've been looking for um, for a while. It's just never been in the condition I've wanted it in. Um, and my condition standards have dropped uh, over the past few years. I used to be a, a mint collector. Everything had to be mint. But then over time, I just sort of got the mentality. I thought, well, if I get something in my collection, which is okay condition, then I can just, um, what's the word? I replace it later down the line. Um, but this is a keeper. I don't think I'm ever gonna replace it. Um, just because 
it's going to be a tricky one to get better condition than that. Um, and then the last thing, and funny enough, when I checked in the shop, I thought, it ain't got the map. And I thought, for 62 quid, the condition. And I know the map, I've seen the map go for about 20 quid on its own. So I just thought, it's all right, I can try and source one later down the line. Anyway, we went to the pub. I saw, I was flicking through it. I then pulled out the manual, um, went to show Amanda, and it fell out. The actual map fell out the manual. So I was like, yes. So, yeah, and the map's actually in really nice condition. Again, I don't think it's really been used. Is your map? Because these normally fall apart from people obviously using them. But yeah, the map was in there as well. So, so happy to have that. Probably the find, I say the find, not really a find because it was in CX. Um, but I sort of saw it in the, saw it in the case and I thought, ah, oh, there's going to be no manual or the label was going to be ripped off. Um, but yeah, that's probably the worst damage there, which runs all the way along there. But yeah, so happy with that. Um, yeah, so CX, can they do anything wrong? Well, obviously they can. Um, actually, I mentioned this, I bought a a Wii U game from CX. It's uh, Zumba Fitness. It's, you could argue, probably the rarest Wii U game. That and probably a couple of others. Uh, but it's probably the last one I need, like rare one. And they list it, um, just standard version, and then they list it with the belt, because Zumba Fitness. But what CX doesn't understand is the belt's not rare. That it doesn't matter. The bit which is rare is the cardboard box it comes in. So there's one that comes up. It's £90, so it's not cheap. Not cheap at all. Uh, I had some credit from some other stuff I traded in. I had lying around. Uh, got it. Turns up, no box. So it's just the game and the belt. Um, and the belt's not even like a unique colour. It's just your standard one you, you got with like the Wii version. And they sell that for two pound fifty with the belt, and it's the same. It's exactly the same belt. So I'm just like, and um, so basically the normal version is fifty quid, and this one's ninety quid. So they want forty pounds for a belt. So I don't get it. Um, if I was the manager on that store which brought in, I maybe would have checked online. But I suppose that, they probably wouldn't have known. But anyway, it went back. It went back. I bought some. Well, don't think I bought anything with that yet. But yeah, so yeah, CX. Awesome. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Carbio Exchange. CX Carbio Exchange Live at the Booter. Uh, let me know what you thought. Well, how can I prove the video? Um, I've got a few more. Because obviously, at the time of recording, I have done, I've been to another car boot. And I got some good stuff again. And I also had an argument with someone on camera. So that would be a, a nice thing to check out on the next one. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.